Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today, as the title suggests, we're going to be looking over the history of the different Merlin owned theme parks in the UK and predicting and speculating what their next roller coasters will be, where in the park they'll be and when they'll get them. Obviously, because of the current circumstances, the parks aren't able to put in a lot of investment. For example, before the pandemic, I would have said that Thought Park would have probably announced their coaster at the start of 2021 season. However, that seems increasingly less likely as the time goes on because, well, they're just not going to have the money because they've had to have shut for, like, what, four months this year? More than they need to. So, yeah, it just doesn't seem that likely. So I will be taking that into account as we go along. Let me know what you guys would like to see in these parks in the comment section. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start at Thought Park. Last time Thorpe got a coaster was back in 2012, and that was the B&M wing coaster called the Swamp. Uh, this is the most recent coaster, however, it's not actually the most recent time that Thorpe Park have ploughed money into attractions. Over the last eight years, they've actually spent th around £31 million on the Swarm and Darren Brown's Ghost Train, so that's quite a lot of money in eight years. I personally think that the next coaster won't be for quite a while. Looking at the park's coaster installations over the past few years, and given the current circumstances, I kind of think about going with the trend here and I, I can see an rmc okay i can see some kind of hybrid maybe not an rmc as such um but possibly a gci considering merlin still have that one coaster left in the contract with gci i could actually see first of its kind gci hybrid coaster being installed i think that would be absolutely amazing and i think it would be great for marketing it's the first of its kind and maybe even if it reaches 200 feet that would be amazing even better for marketing I would probably take a guess that it would be located next to Swarm Island. Um, I think that would probably be the perfect place because obviously it's the GCI coasters don't need to be really have really long layouts. It could probably be a nice twister layout but hybrid. I think that'd be absolutely amazing, and I think that would just be really good for the park. Another thought that I had was a possible installation of an RMC Raptor or T-Rex. Uh, considering the park gets quite long queues, I would. I would lean towards seeing a T-Rex more than I would a Raptor. Obviously, it's got the two seats per row instead of one seat, so definitely get a uh, higher throughput, uh, but it doesn't lose the snappy transition of the Raptor, and I think that would be really, really nice to see in the park, it, especially considering it would be the first RMC in the UK and one of the first in Europe, actually. I, I would like to see a ground-up RMC similar to Zadra and Energylandia, but I'm not sure how much that's going to happen. I'm not sure they could really fit a really good RMC in... Well, I don't think they could fit it on Swarm Island. And I don't really see them going across Logger's Leap. But it could happen. I think it's unlikely. But it could possibly happen. It would be great to see one. Um, and maybe even take, trying to take away the top spot from Untamed with the most inversions on the hybrid on a hybrid roller coaster. That would be pretty nice. Anyway, whichever way the park goes, I can see the next coaster probably being a hybrid of some sort. Maybe even being themed to like the escape from the swarm or even an experiment to overrun the swarm or, or something like that gone wrong. I think that would be a really cool theme. I've seen that on, I think it was Digital Dan's contest for the next coaster to go uh, on Swarm Island. And I thought it was a really nice theme and I think that would actually go really well. So yeah, I would say... The next coaster for Thought Park will be in probably 2024, 2025-ish, uh, but I would say it will be the next Merlin roller coaster. I don't think we'll have to wait for another Alt Towers ride or whatever. Yeah, I, th I think 2024 back of Swarm Island would be a perfect place for it to be. Yeah, let's move on. We'll go on to Alton Towers now. And yeah, the past park last got a coaster back in 2018, which was the Wicker Man. Absolutely fantastic ride, might I say. Brilliant. One of my favourites in the UK, actually. So GCI Twister, which took up the second coaster in the contract with GCI. And the towers seem to have been getting more coasters than Thought Park in 2000 since 2003. So I could see something happening in... I could see something happening sooner. Obviously, Thought Park have taken eight plus years to get a coaster. So I could see towers getting one probably... 2025 and they only have to wait seven maybe even six years maybe i'm not 100 percent how much i actually see this but it's a possibility that both thorpe and alton towers get one in 2024 but that's quite a lot of money for merlin to spend in one year so i'm not 100 percent sure how well that's gonna go but it could happen i mean there's been five coasters being added in 17 years since 2003 at alton towers where there's only been three at thorpe park so as i say it's definitely more likely that alton towers won't have to wait eight plus years to get a new coaster so yeah although Alton Towers I feel like they might be slightly running out of room obviously they've got the huge forest in the middle but I don't think they really want to cut down trees flat or anything so I, I don't see them using that space at all 
I could probably say that the next coaster would probably be between Galactica and the GNH car park for Splash Landings Hotel. I think it's quite a nice area. Could be quite good. Uh, maybe themed to a space flight gone wrong, possibly. And I think that would go really well with an SNS Axis coaster. Once again, it would be the world's first, but alt towers have never worked with SNS before. So I'm not sure how well that would happen, really. Like, I feel like they might not want to risk it, especially considering it's a prototype. Yeah, I'm not sure whether they'd actually want to do that. It could quite easily become plagued with problems. And we don't want that to happen, do we? So, yeah, I could also kind of see a Raptor or a T-Rex, similar to Thought Park. And once again, it would be the first of a kind RMC. Be the first RMC in the UK. And again, I think that would be brilliant. But I'm not sure whether that would happen. I think the most likely would either be an SNS, Axis, or a T-Rex. I don't really see anything else happening. Obviously, some people say get rid of Rita. I agree. <laughs> I hate Rita. It's really rough and it's just not that fun. I definitely prefer Stealth 100%. Um, so it would be a good idea to replace Rita and they could put maybe a Mac multi-launch though which would take up the space much better. Um, it would be a lot more fun. There'd be inversions on it and I just think they could fit in a Mac multi-launch much better than they could with the Intamin Accelerator that they've already got. But Pleasure Beach got one in 2018, so I'm not sure whether they'd want to steer away from that because there's already one in the UK that opened very recently. So I guess we could see there. But yeah, I would say that removing Rita is incredibly unlikely. It's just kind of a thought that something there could happen. But I mean, they've already got a ride there. I don't see why they would want to remove it, especially considering it's relatively new. It, like it came out in 2005, so 15 years old. I feel like they would probably want to keep that for now and run it to the end of its surface life, which is completely understandable. And yeah, I would definitely say that the most likely option is either an SNS, SNS Axis or an RMC T-Rex coaster. So moving on to Chesington. Uh, the last time Chesington got a coaster was way back in 2004, which was the Mauer spinning coaster known as Dragon's Fury. It's a pretty good ride, I'm going to be honest. It's not bad, for especially for a Chesington especially for Chesington, it's it's not meant for thrill seekers, so they're not going to have amazing rides there. Um, obviously, Merlin have put money into Chesington, but with the new edition of 2020 for the Rainforest and the transformation to Tiger Rock of their water flume, I can't remember what it was called beforehand, but the transformation of that, they have been having money put into them, but I still don't see it coming soon. Obviously, they've had Ramesses Revenge, has now been closed, and they've got a new ride planned, I think, but of a drop tower which is a pretty cool idea in this place of Ramesses Revenge. I don't see a new ride coming to Chesington until 2027, I would say. They don't need a new coaster. As I say, they're not meant for thrill seekers and enthusiasts. So yeah, I, I would probably see some kind of Zamperla Moto coaster alternative, possibly themed to a jungle where you're going around and exploring it on a motorbike or even a quad bike. I think that'd be pretty cool. And using an LSM launch instead of a hydraulic launch and obviously keeping it so kids can go on it as well because they don't want to go there and not be able to go on one of the rides. Especially considering that's who it's meant for. And finally, we've got Legoland Windsor Resort. Of course, Legoland got a brand new art engineering kiddie coaster called the Duplo Dino Coaster this year for new for 2020. So I don't see why coming soon. But obviously Legoland has a younger target audience anyway. So I definitely don't see a new coaster coming to the park for a long, long time. Especially considering their installations throughout the years. They have had one coaster in this century. So yeah, it's... It probably won't happen for quite some time. I would probably say that the next coaster would be maybe a Ziera Kitty coaster. And I would probably take a guess that it would be installed probably 2030 or maybe even later. Uh, I would, Looking at the, the Google Maps, I would probably say that there's a perfect bit of land between the Fire Academy and Miniland. Um, I think it would be great to have a Ziera Kitty coaster going around that area and maybe even being themed to Miniland. Um, I think that would be really nice to see the a new coaster being added which isn't short like duplo dino coaster but isn't like ridiculously long and it's obviously meant for children and it just goes through miniland or probably not goes through but is themed to miniland in some way i think that'd be really nice to see but yeah 
Anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching today. If you did enjoy, please do consider leaving a like. I would really appreciate it. I'm actually uploading three times a week and streaming three times a week right now to try and hit 1,000 subscribers by 2021. So if you really enjoy my content, please do consider subscribing. It really would mean a lot. Make sure you let me know below what you think in the comment section. Let me know if you want to see anything else like this again as well. I don't mind doing this. I quite enjoy making it. So let me know if you want to see something like this and let me know your opinions on what's going to be coming for the next few seasons for different Merlin parks in the UK. So yeah, guys, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.